Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-innovation.com. So today in this video guys, we are going to do a quick comparison between Selenium with Java or Selenium with Python. Okay. So the reason why I have picked up this topic because right now I started my series on Python. So now people are confused, should we go with Selenium with Java or with Python? So this is just a quick video and I will share my thoughts on this. Maybe you will agree or you will not agree. So let me know in the comment section what is your point on this. But I am going to share my points on which programming language you should choose for your next automation tool. So let's get started. So point number one is job opportunity. Okay, so if you're someone who is looking for a job change, okay, that let's say you are a manual tester and you want to jump into automation. So if you have a choice, then what is like highest number of opportunity, then I will highly recommend go with Selenium with Java. Okay, so right now if you talk about uh, these numbers can vary but overall I'm giving you idea that 60% market still captured by Selenium with Java and remaining 40% you can consider Selenium with Java and sorry Selenium with Python and Selenium with JavaScript as well and there's so other language like Ruby and other stuff but yes so basi uh, basically we have three major players in the market Java, Python, JavaScript but still Java is the leader at least at this time so if you're looking some if you're someone who is looking for a job change then you should go with Selenium with Java point number two so let's say you have no background of programming or let's say you have never worked on any programming language and if you want to just get started then python should be the the first language because python is very easy to use and within few days or i would say months you can learn python and you can start implementing python in web automation in devops even in the development as well okay so when you talk about the complexity yes python is very much easier than java so yes that is the second point go with python if you are completely new to programming and the third and very important point that what if you already know the java should we learn python or javascript okay so guys generally whatever trend i have seen like if you are someone who is into automation almost let's say five years or ten years then definitely chances are high that you will be moving to devops right because test automation is closely related to devops as well so if you want to jump into devops in future then definitely Python would be the first choice because when you talk about DevOps, Python play a huge role when you talk about scripting, okay? So whether you talk about AWS, GCP, or even if you want to interact with some shell, you need a scripting language, right? So Python will be the best candidate if you are someone who is planning to change from automation to DevOps. So basically these are the three major areas that that i covered one is the job um, you know opportunity second one is the complexity and third one is what is the future okay so as i mentioned like if you want to move into devops definitely python will be the best candidate for you and yes um, not only java even if you take let's say first language python java or javascript all these languages are just a programming languages right so once you understand any of the programming languages it's very easy to move into different programming languages so don't get afraid that once if i learn java i will not be able to learn python or once i will learn python i will not be able to learn java it's not true i personally feel that someone who learns programming once can jump into any other programming language within few days or within few weeks okay it is just you need to understand their uh, you know internal architecture how they work different classes different packages what are the different things they have which is not available in the different programming and rest everything will remain same in programming guys main thing is your logic okay so once you understand one programming language you will be building your logic i will say logic patterns logic capabilities that you can apply in any programming language so don't get afraid it's very easy to learn different programming languages but yes you need to start at least from one language right so yeah that's all the points which i have from my side but if you think something can be added in this video or something which you want me to add in the next video, let me know in the comment section. And in case if you want to dis disagree on some points, still let me know in the comment section and we can just have a small chit chat and we can see what we can improve in the next video or what point we can cover in the next video. That's all for this video guys. So in case if you're new to this channel, then make sure you subscribe this channel, hit the like button and share with your friends and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.